What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to install iCleaner onto your device. No need for a jailbreak. So this is definitely very cool, an awesome application to have on your device. If you guys don't know what iCleaner is, basically it's an application that will clean out the unneeded junk on your device. Uh, it'll free up memory and also it can potentially make your device uh, faster if you notice your device is lagging. So a really cool application. I generally use it at least once a month and it can clean up, you know, a couple of gigabytes of memory on your device. So like I said, this is definitely an application worth having on your device. So first thing we're going to do is go ahead and jump onto my computer. Now, once you're on your computer, the first program you're going to need is called Acidia Impactor. In the description for the download of this uh, program, basically this is what's going to install the application onto our device. So I'm going to go ahead and launch Impactor right now. So here is Cydia Impactor, and then also make sure that your device is plugged into your computer. As you guys can see, uh, Cydia Impactor immediately detected my device, so it should say your device's name. Uh, and then now the next step we're going to do is go ahead and jump into Safari. And you're going to want to come to this website here. It is iparhino.com. I'll leave the link for this in the description as well, and just scroll down until you see the iCleaner application. I think I went past it. There it is right there. Uh, it is the kind of broom uh, icon. As you can see, it says iCleaner. And then what you're going to want to do is click on more information. It'll give you a short description of the application. And what you're going to want to click on is download.ipa. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to do it again. But uh, click on download.ipa. And then once you have downloaded the, the .ipa, just go ahead and put it on your desktop. As you guys can see, I already have it here. So the next thing we're going to do is simply drag and drop the application or the .ipa into Cydia Impactor. Now it's going to ask us to uh, sign in with our iTunes email and also enter our, our uh, iTunes password as well. Uh, this is completely safe. It's just to sign the application uh, that will allow you to use it on your device. So I'm going to go ahead and log in real quick. All right, I have now logged in and it has begun to install the application onto my device and it's already done so now we're going to jump back over to my device alrighty so as you guys can see it has installed the application onto my device the first thing you guys are going to want to do is go into the settings application we'll back out here so I can show you guys where to navigate go ahead and go to general swipe down until you see profiles and device management and then the application will be located under your iTunes email so if you haven't trusted it or verified it you will have to do so uh, before you can open it so mine is already verified and trusted so I can open the application go ahead and open up iCleaner and uh, it's as easy as that so from here basically all you have to do is click on the start cleaning button I'm not gonna do it on video because it actually takes about three to five minutes to clean up all the junk so uh, I'm not gonna do it like I said I did do it um, before this video as a test and as you guys can see right here, cleaning up 6,500 megabytes of free space. Temporary files will not be removed. Uh, and then you have some other stuff here. Please do not switch to other app or turn off the device uh, if possible while it's going through this process. So keep that in mind that once you start cleaning your device, leave it in the application. Don't exit the application and let it finish completely and then you'll be good to go. So uh, that is how you guys are going to get iCleaner onto your device with no jailbreak needed. Definitely a very cool application. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.